If you have an M1 MacBook and you play guitar, then there's a really easy way to connect your guitar to your computer. And it's really cheap and super simple. And it doesn't require an audio interface like a Focusrite, Scarlett or an iRig, which can cost around $100. The setup is really simple, so if you're like me and you like to sit in the kitchen or in the bedroom when you play guitar, then this setup is perfect for you. The sound quality sounds great, and as far as I can tell, there is no latency at all. I even played a few hours and it still doesn't have any latency. All you need is a cable with a 6.3 millimeter connector on one end of the cable and a USB connector on the other end. You might also need a dongle since the M1 Max only have USB-C ports and it seems like there are only cables with USB-A. Chances are however that you already have a dongle since you own an M1 MacBook. It's kind of what you sign up for when you use an M1 MacBook. In the description you can find uh, links to cables and dongles that I use or that are similar to ones that I use. The cables cost only about $10 which is really affordable, especially when you compare it to an audio interface. As for a computer, I'm using an M1 MacBook Pro from 2020 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. But I believe this should be possible with a MacBook Air as well as long as it has an M1 chipset or better. Now let's have a look at how to set this up. The first thing you need to do is to connect the guitar to the Mac with a cable. Boot up GarageBand and choose a new project. For the track type, you click here to show that you're connecting a guitar. Select an input and tick this box so that you can hear the guitar on the speakers. And then click create. Here you can pick any amp that you want to play with. I personally don't think that you can ever go wrong with a warm British combo, but there are plenty of options to choose between. And lastly, this button next to the sound levels needs to be activated in order for you to hear the guitar. Sometimes you need to turn up the volume quite a lot before you can hear the sound from the computer. That's all you need to do and now you can start jamming. I really hope that I was able to give you some value with this quick tip. Please leave a like if you thought so. I personally use this setup quite a lot and have done it a lot ever since I found out about it. Have a look in the description to find all of the things that you need in order to get started. I have added a couple of options in different price points that you can compare. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!